this YouTube channel and website. Uh, today I'm gonna start the uh, tutorials on my uh, design, Irish crochet design that, that I call the flowers of the dune. And this is the sample I'm actually working on right now that was gonna be a skirt. For the flowers that I use for this part, and this one is the flower of Rudbeckia, or you might call it the aster or any other chrysanthemum type flower. And I use classical Irish rose with a solid center, six petals, two rows. And I use the simple flat flower. Also, I use the element called violet and botanies. So today I'm gonna st I'm gonna start showing you how to do the botanies first, and then we're gonna work on the uh, violet. These are the two simplest flowers that we can start making yourself while I'm working on tutorials for other motifs. So what do we need for this? I use the violet, it's yarn at violet thread. It's size 10, and you can see the details here, the yardage and grams. Also you will need the 1mm crochet hook and cutter, cutters to trim the extra thread. Uh, for the small elements for buttonies, I use make them different size. Because I sometimes I feel them, feel use them as a, to fill the gaps between the motifs. So I start with a very small and end up with a very big one, which can compare to sometimes compare to this flower. So just the uh, the number, the, the size of it depends on the number of chains that I start here. Just remember that on each chain stitch that we start in the center, we make three double crochet or treble crochet if you're talking of I'm talking about the uh, different terms English or American so to start with the smallest one I make the loop make five chains just let me tune up a bit so you can see better so I made five and I do the slip stitch into the first chain and I make three chains to get to the necessary height and since I have five chains I have to make 15 trebles minus one that I've already made for three chains so. Tune in. Actually, for this type of element, you don't need really to count the stitches. As far as it looks flat, it doesn't fold, it doesn't bend. So, 
think I've made enough. It's too... That's more than enough. And do the slip stitch into the third chain. Now I have to do the edging. And we, in the modern Irish crochet, we call it the edge of Miroslava Gar, because it was first used by Miroslava Garochovich, and she made it very popular. So you make the chain, chain, and the slip stitch. Chain, and the slip stitch. It imitates the, uh, the crab stitch, but it actually works in the normal direction. Makes very nice and fluffy edge on the element. Continue. Chain and the slip stitch. Chain and the slip stitch. It's extremely hot this week and today we had some fresh air quite, the breeze is quite heavy so you can see it blows away all the motifs from my desk come on so I've done the final stitch and I cut about 10 centimeters away is about 4 inches away from the motif so you can fix the thread later on and bind off now all you have to do is using the thread weave in the thread inside and stitch through this little circle that we have here and yes I forgot to mention that when you work on the center use the remain tail as a padding cord so you don't have to fix it later on so that's the first element I use for the flowers of dunes the pattern you can make them bigger and smaller the biggest one that I made was based on a nine stitch chain so if you make uh, use uh, six chains you, you make 18 trebles if you use seven you, you use uh, 21, you use 8, 24, and so on. So you end up, you might end up with 30 trebles on for this flower, flower pot. Okay, so we'll start the other one. Okay, the second flower that I use for this pattern is the violet flower. As you can see, it's very simple and the flower itself based on the circle that is made out of 15 single or double crochet come on come on it's here and when you work on double crochet or single crochet you make the, the chain that is twice the uh, well, the, the, the beginning chain should be uh, twice as smaller as the amount of DC that you need. For for example, for this flower, I use five petals that requires three cha uh, three stitches, so that makes fifteen stitches in the circle. So I make seven or eight chains for this one. We made three, three per stitch. Here we use two per stitch. You might check work, you, uh, check your tension. Some people need seven chains. Some people need eight. So just work with the pattern. I made seven. Okay. 
seven chains and I finish the loop do one chain do 14 doubles One more. Four. And you do the slip stitch. And I used the spare end of the thread and worked it as a padding cord so it's now secured inside the motif and you can actually cut it off cut it off. So we'll do the three chains and two trebles so into the same stitch. two chains and a double crochet so we made one petal and it's ready and we'll continue for the rest of the flower so two chains two trebles If you decide to make this dress, you might think about making around 50 flowers, 50 violet flowers, and about 120 of these small ones with different sizes because they go very fast. You use them very fast, and you might need to make some more once you work on the layout and I'm gonna show you in the other tutorials how to do the lay layout once we finish with all the motifs So we're about to finish this flower. Again, two double, two chains, two trebles, two chains and we return down to the base and do the slip stitch into the first chain and that's it again leave about yourself about four inches that once you get used to fixing the threads you might leave some 
shorter thread here the space ends but for the beginning you might want to have some extra extra thread anyway. so that's the violet you might also join them into the group make like three five six and some others so they look like uh, not a single flower on the on the bed on the flower bed but there's a group of them you might make the chain you might also make the uh, different well, a chain but not straight but make it like a zigzag or something something that will match you into your layout because you'll do the layout on your own way even I can I, I cannot repeat the same layout again so it's just a matter of your fantasy and how it goes you might want to pull, some, pull the thread and that's it Thanks for watching, subscribe, comment, like and visit the, the YouTube channel once again for more tutorials. Thank you, bye.